Man, I wish I could make some really cool icons like Technical JL or Nepesta. That'd be really cool. Oh wait, I can. If you just watch the rest of this video, I'll teach you guys how to make your own custom icons. <laughs> Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to open up Geometry Dash and choose the icon that you want to replace to make your custom icon. So we're going to open up GD and check out which icon that we want to replace. As you can see, I got the new technical texture pack, which is cool. Okay, so we're going to choose the icon that we want to replace. Now, the method I'm going to use for this tutorial applies to every icon that does exist in this game. Ball, ship, cube, UFO, whatever. Anything. Well, maybe not trail, I don't know. But, choose the icon that you want to replace. For this, I'm going to use this ship. I'm going to change this ship right here. So we're going to quit the game, and then head over to your file folder. So, what we want to do is we want to find Geometry Dash right here in our folder. Or, a simpler way we could do this is open up Steam, and then go over to Geometry Dash, right-click it, go to Properties, click on Local Files up here on these tabs, and click browse local files. Okay, so normally you would have to open up this resources tab and then okay, so we're gonna open up this resources tab. We're gonna type in GJ underscore game sheet O2. Or just GJ game sheet. It just doesn't matter. But once you find so what we're looking for is GJ Game Sheet 02, and as you can see right here, there's UHD, there's nothing on this one, and then there's HD. So HD is basically medium detail, UHD is high detail, and the normal one is just low detail. So normally, you would right click on this, go to open with, and go to paint.net. Now. To do this, you need to have this photo editing program called Paint.net. I'll put a link in the description on how to get it. So, I am using the technical texture pack, so I'm not going to go through here. I'm going to head back to Geometry Dash. I'm just going to look for GJ Game Sheet 02 UHD. And remember, it has to be a PNG file. It cannot be this notebook one right here. So we're going to press Open With, go to Paint.net, if you have it by now. Okay, so as you can see here, we have all the textures of every single icon in the game. So, as you can see here, I have my own custom icon, this cat one, right here that I made a few days ago. So, we're going to head over here, and then we're going to find the icon that you chose to replace. Okay, so... Now that we have found the icon that we want to replace, what we have to do is we have to select it with the rectangle select tool. Select it and then press control C on your keyboard. And then click this, go to new, and then press OK, and then press control V to paste it. Now I'm going to use this as a stencil um, to make mine, but if you're making a totally new custom one, you don't have to select um, that icon unless you want to get it on perfect. So now that I'm here, I'm going to customize the icon in any way I want with this line or curve tool. Make sure that the style is rounded for both sides, because otherwise it's going to look ugly. All right, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this little lightning bolt style right here, like that. Now, you can do this 
to your own extent, this is your imagination on what you want to do. This part of the tutorial is where you can be as creative as you want. You don't necessarily need to follow along with it until I say that you can, that you have to. So I'm going to head over here. I'm going to keep making this little zigzag thing. So, okay, so now I have the basic design that I want. I'm going to go to my magic wand. And I'm going to... So, for the the color, the player colors that you want, um, there has to be a PNG of, like, where you want it to be. So, press delete there. These are going to be the second player color right here. As you can see, this little uh, thing right here is already PNG, so that's cool. Also, I'm going to give him just a little angry eye. Let's see here. So grab the eraser. Just, just do that, and then erase all this black. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the line, t the line tool, just so then like this little PNG snip right here doesn't get paint bucketed. So now I can grab my paint bucket and paint bucket this white. This will be the first player color. All of this, and if there's any little pixels that show little PNG squares, just grab your brush, just color those in. Pretty simple. Okay, so I just finished doing that. I'm probably going to change the mouth too. So I'm going to grab the eraser again. I'm going to erase all of this. Like that. Alright, so now I'm going to just paint bucket here, make it white. Now I'm going to make my own custom mouth. So I'm going to use this line tool. Got to make it black because otherwise it's not visible. Make it a little smirk maybe. That's a little too much of a smirk. Let's bring that down. Okay, that should be good. So I am now finished with making the that icon itself but if you want to have the player colors to switch you need and I mean you need to grab the this magic wand tool and then press con hold down control to select all of these and then press control C then add a new layer and then press control V and so now, if we get rid of the background, we have this little outline right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the paint bucket tool. I'm going to make it white. That's going to be the, um, the outline of our player colors. Also, I forgot. I need to, I need to get this one too right here. So, see here. Magic wand copy, go down here, get rid of this layer, paste. Now I can grab the paint bucket, and then just paint bucket that way. So now we have the little glow that goes right beneath it. So once you're done doing that, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to get rid of this bottom layer right here with the glow and stuff and you're going to grab your rectangle select tool and then select all of this and press control C so after this step I cannot stress this enough add a new layer when you're going to do this step because otherwise you're gonna screw it up and it's gonna look bad and all the icons are gonna be shifted and stuff you don't want that so we're gonna have to add a new layer make sure it's on top of background now you're gonna find the you're gonna have to find the 
ship or icon or whatever that you want to replace. So I've realized myself I cannot use this one because um, when it comes to Rob Top sorting out the the little player two color thing, when you find it, it's gonna it's gonna be pixelated into one space. It's gonna be pixelated into one space where the actual glow is. It's not gonna be the box of um the ship that it's is that it's that it is. So we're gonna have to find the we're gonna have to find a new ship that we wanna replace. Because now I know that that one that we used is the one that um has that sort of situation. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do this little scissor ship right here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna press Control V. Now we got our custom ship. We just wanna cover that completely. So make sure it's right on top of it. So once you have it right on top of there um, uncheck this layer, go to the background layer, select it, and then press delete. I pressed something else. Hold on. Press delete. Like that. So it'll, there'll still probably be pixels left over. There's an easy way to get rid of it. Just select them and then delete them. It's not that bad. Not really that serious. Alright, so now we have our custom ship right here looks nice and fancy. So now, now that we've done that, we need to add the player 2 color. So we're going to do the same thing we did before, control C. Or wait, no. Undo. We're going to select it. What am I doing? So, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and then we're gonna paste it onto here press control V and make sure it's on layer 2 because otherwise this won't work and if it covers up the icon like it just did right now just add a new layer and make sure it's above um, the layer that your icons on so once you're done doing that just bring it over here. We gotta make sure that the pixels are perfect. Otherwise, this won't work. And you might, it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error to um, fix this. And if the pixels are moving on to like another shade of glow or something, just grab, just grab the move selection tool. And you can just move the selection back. Alright, so now that we did that, we're going to go to the bottom layer, background, press delete, and then we have the glow there. So, now that we've done that, go to file, press save, oh, no, wait, no, stop. Alright, go to file, press save as, make sure it's a PNG and not a paint.net PDN. Make sure it's a PNG. Press save press replace say yes press ok here then press flatten and then just let this save and we're gonna exit out of here and if you want you can save this but I'm not going to because it's already in the game sheet so now that we have that done I'm gonna open up geometry dash and hopefully the glows in the right place but it's gonna take a bit of trial and error to get it right So we're going to see if this actually worked, which I hope it did. So we're going to find the ship that you replaced. There it is. Okay, as you can see, this is a little shifted over. We need to raise it up a little bit. So, yeah, we're going to need to... um go back into the game sheet file and just bring it up a little bit because it's shifted downward and that's not how we want it. So, 
if you you can do the same steps as before, but I'm gonna do the way I did it my way, right here. Okay, so we're gonna head back to that game sheet. You can go back in the video to see where I went. I'm gonna press open with paint.net. So now that that's open, we're gonna have to find the icon that we replaced again. I'm gonna head over here, look for it, and there it is, right there. So we have the glow, and it's, wait, don't do that, undo. So we have the glow, it's right here. Also, I saw a little pixel of the glow from the past, so we're just going to get rid of that. Yeah, we're going to reselect this, then go to move selected pixels, and then just bring it up a little bit. That should be good. File, save as. PNG. Yes. Okay. Now that it's saving, you probably won't need to flatten it again if you already have the glow in here. So we're going to leave. I'm going to keep this open just in case. We're going to open up Geometry Dash and see if this works. Now, um, this is going to take a bit of trial and error to get it completely right. So I'm not going to keep that for the whole video. But if this works, I guess that'll be the end of it. Okay, so it's it's pretty close. We just need to move it over maybe a, a couple more pixels. So we're going to do that. So you got to keep doing this until you get it exactly right. Because otherwise it's going to look ugly. Open with paint.net. Alright, so now if we go to here, zoom in, we gotta do that same strat that I came that we came up with before. Rectangle select, move selected pixels, move it over that many. This should be good. File, save as. Make sure it's a PNG. Save, replace. Okay, let it save, and exit out of here, open up GD again, so now once this loads up, look at that, right into place. Alright, so we finally finished making our own custom icon or ship. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And comment it on this video if this tutorial helped you. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.